Hi, one hour smart home here and today we're going to show you how to install a C by GE Wi-Fi smart dimmer switch. So we got the C by GE smart Wi-Fi dimmer switch over here. And what's unique about this smart switch is that it does not require a neutral wire. There are only three wires on the back here. There's a load wire, a hot wire and a ground wire. So no neutral required to install this Wi-Fi light switch. So the first thing that we wanna do is make sure that the power is off to the circuit that we're working on. So I'm gonna go and turn the power off at the circuit breaker. You're gonna to need to do the same thing. And then once you have the power turned off, you're gonna to wanna to confirm that the power no longer works at the light switch and that you are safe to start working on this. So now we have the power off and we're just gonna take the cover plate off here on the existing light switch. Now that we've got the cover plate removed, now is a good time to check with a non-contact voltage meter if you have one to make sure that the power is off. So we'll include a link to one of these that we recommend below, but these can help you identify if there is still any live power on the light switch, just an extra measure of safety there. So the next thing you need to do is just remove the existing switch from the junction box. So take those two screws and remove them. Now that these screws have been loosened from the junction box, you can pull the entire switch out and it's gonna make it easier to work on this switch and remove the existing wires. So we're gonna look at this wiring here and we can see that there are only two wires on the switch plus a ground wire. This bottom wire is the hot wire on that black terminal and the top wire on here is that load wire which is the wire that goes up to the light bulb. So hot is incoming power and load is the outgoing power to this light bulb. So we're just gonna match up the hot and load wires on the new C by GE light switch. And then the last wire we have is this ground wire, this unshielded wire. And that ground wire is gonna connect to the ground wire, the green wire on the light switch. So we just remove the two of these and then we're gonna connect them. Now, one nice thing I do like about this light switch is that the load wire and the hot wire can be reversed. So as long as you have the load and hot wire connected to one of each of the black wires, it's gonna function so it is reversible here. And then you just gotta make sure you get the ground wire, the unshielded copper wire or green wire on this green wire on the light switch. So really easy there and a nice feature because a lot of smart light switches are very particular about getting the load and line wire in the correct locations. Whereas with this particular smart switch, they can be reversed and it's not gonna cause any issues. As long as you just have one connected to the load wire and one connected to line wire here. So we're gonna go ahead and remove these two wires that are on the existing switch. Now we remove the ground wire. Now we've got all of our wires separated over here in the junction box and we're just gonna go ahead and connect the new wires from the C by GE to these existing wires. So I'm gonna start by connecting one of the black wires on the switch to the hot wire inside the junction box. So we're just gonna take a wire connector and we're gonna twist these two wires together here. So we take the existing wire, the hot wire in the junction box and we wire it up to the new wire on the Wi-Fi light switch. Now we take the other black wire and wire it to the other black wire or the load wire in this existing junction box and just wire the two of those together and twist them with a wire nut until that is nice and tight and you've got a good connection there. So let's see, we got a connection there. Check to make sure we got a good connection here. Give it another twist or two. Okay, we've got two good connections here. And now we're just gonna take our green wire on the C by GE light switch and connect it to the unshielded copper wire or ground wire on the existing wiring. So once again, we take a wire nut and we're just gonna secure these two together. You can now see that we've got the GE dimmer light switch wired up to the existing wiring. We're just gonna fold these wires carefully back into the junction box and then we're gonna secure the new light switch to the junction box and then put the cover plate back on. Now we're gonna secure the cover plate on the light switch. So it's a two part cover plate here and the first part we're gonna put on here is this part with these two tiny screws and we're just gonna go ahead and secure that and screw these two tiny screws into the light switch. 
now that we have the inner cover plate secured, we're just gonna take the outer cover and just snap it in place here. Now we're ready to turn the power back on at the circuit breaker and we're gonna start the light switch up and then we're gonna connect it to our phone so that we can control it wirelessly with our phone. So go ahead and turn the power back on at the circuit breaker. We just restored the power at the circuit breaker and you can see that the light switch lights up with this blue ring. And if we press it, you can see that the light will turn on. So now I'm gonna grab my phone and install this on the Wi-Fi app. Now we open up the C by GE app and we're in the home screen for the app. So all we're gonna do is go ahead and click on the plus symbol to add the new switch. So down here in the lower right hand corner and then we click on add new devices. Now we just click on the device type that we're trying to add, which is wired switches, so we click here. Now it tells us to install our device, configure the device, and select the bulb, so we're gonna go ahead and click get started. Did your switch come with a bulb adapter? And yes, it did. We've got the bulb adapter here, but we did not need it because our light switch did not flicker. If you are having problems with flickering lights, go ahead and install this, and this should help solve the problem. So we're gonna go ahead and click yes here, and then click continue down at the bottom. It says make sure the device is in setup mode and I know that this blinking blue light is the setup mode so we're gonna go ahead and click continue here. Now it says our device was found and it is connected. So we're just gonna go ahead and select this dimmer device here and we're gonna click continue. Now it asks us to choose the Wi-Fi network so I'm gonna make a selection and then connect to it. Now it asks us to add our device to a room. We're just gonna go ahead and click continue. So here we can choose a different room for the device. We're just gonna choose bedroom and click continue. Now it asks us to name a device and it's already given us a name, Dimmer 2. Now you should name this whatever you want in your system, but I'm just gonna leave it as Dimmer 2 and click continue. And now it asks us what type of bulb we have connected and we have a traditional dimmable LED. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click continue there. It says our device is now ready and tells us that we can connect this to Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant. We have videos that show you how to connect it to either Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant. So go ahead and check those out down in the links below. I'm gonna go ahead and click done here. Now our device shows up as bedroom up here at the top and I can just click the button right here if I wanna turn the device on and click again if I wanna turn it off. Now let's go ahead and click on the device and we can even adjust the dimming level and brightness. So what we're gonna do first is actually turn the device on by clicking down here and then we can adjust the dimming and brightness by clicking on this dial here and pulling from anywhere from zero to 100% and dimming the light switch. So let's go ahead, we'll turn it on about 50 to 75% here, and then we're just gonna turn it off. So you can see that we can control the light switch from the phone, or we can control it manually. We tap here to turn it on or to turn it off, and if we wanna adjust the dimming levels, we can turn it up by pressing on the top, or we can turn the dimming down by pressing down on this button and holding, and it will take us lower and lower and lower until the dimming level is almost zero, and then it goes off. So we can turn it on and we can turn it off by pressing the button in the middle and we can adjust the dimming levels by pressing these two buttons here. So thank you for watching this video on how to install a C by GE smart dimmer switch. This is a unique switch and that it allows you to control it via Wi-Fi from your phone and it also connects to Google Home or Alexa. It's also unique because it does not require a neutral wire, which most other smart switches do require a neutral wire. So it does make installing the C by GE light switch just a little bit easier than some of the competing products out there. We'll include a link to this below. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and look at those other videos related to smart switches if you wanna learn more about smart home lighting and smart switches in your house. Thanks for watching. Please give us that thumbs up, subscribe, and click any of the links below if you want to support us. Thank you.